here we have the planter for number four. It comprises of ten component parts and seven fixing pins and uh, it goes together in, in sequence. Each component is inscribed with what it is and any um, manoeuvring instructions for it which aren't generally is just sliding and um, it goes together in this fashion. These two plates go in first then the top sections slide into position best to do the section marked right before the section marked left simply because the fish plate arrangement in the middle it's easier to locate this way around than it is the other way around everything starts off a little bit rattly but once the rest of the uh, components are in position it it stiffens it all up. The entire structure is on gliders so when it's assembled and backstage and manoeuvring into position um, center stage it's easier to move around than um, moving it in component form all of the time. The ramp this is used by the people being eaten slots in this can be a little bit tricky but once it's there it forms the strengthening beam for the entire structure. This is fixed in position with four of the hinge pins can be a little tricky but it does work and when it works it becomes a, a solid structure. <sighs> That's the worst of the wrestling match is fitting the, the ramp but once it's there it holds the whole thing together. Finally the, the, the box section of the structure can be fitted which is the two base plates Again, starting with the right side. The outer shell comprises of two parts in a very similar fashion to the number three planter. These can go on in either way, right first or left first. They have a, a trim detail on the top which, which denotes the top from the bottom. That slots into there. Down here there is another hinge, so a pin goes in there. On the left side the same same exercise with a hinge to the base and finally in the centre at the top there is a final hinge when the pin goes in it locks the entire structure together to become one solid movable box. Once it's positioned into your marked area on stage this can then be carefully lowered down
and is ready for the rest of the plant to be ad added. The final main structure of the planter is this steel mast. Now, I'll fit it now, but it's best to fit it after the lower section of the plant is in position. Simply from, it's easier to then apply the top section of the plant, but this is how it goes together. Slots into two channels, and then there's two clamps, which turn round and lock down the lower part of the mast. And it's quite important that these are done up well, but not over tightened, because the weight of the puppet rests entirely on these two brackets. Once that's in position and tightened, the whole structure is very solid and isn't going anywhere and you won't have any stage drift if there's any steep rake on your staging. And that's the planter. So from here we apply the actual puppet which comprises two components, the base section and an upper section and then the sprawl elements from number three are reused with additional um, foliage elements added to it. And in a similar fashion to the sprawl on number three being attached to the puppeteer's legs, it's best to employ two um, sort of dancers or mime artists to lay on the planter um, and dress them with the foliage. We'll demonstrate that later on.